Hello everybody, Backyard Volume here. So today is kind of like a little bit of an update video for you guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Backyard Bullion Hand Pour Silver, talk to you guys a little bit about how things are going, where things are going as well with uh, a lot of the pieces that I'm making, a lot of the series that I'm making. And I wanted to reflect back a little bit on uh, basically how things have evolved over the last year and a bit because my life's changed massively since kind of this time last year when this was very much uh, a little bit of a hobby and now it's turning into this wonderful kind of hobby which is earning me money alongside my day job and it's uh, an absolute pleasure to be doing that and uh, once again that's all kind of down to you guys you know it's absolutely a dream come true to be able to make some of this and for people to buy it and uh, you need know, to scratch out a small living from it and uh, yeah so that's really awesome so I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about where things are how things are going generally and um, my thoughts on kind of the future for my hand pour silver and the kind of things that I like to make and uh, and so on. So out in front of us here we have some of the most recent pieces which I've been working on. This is a batch which has recently come back from the Edinburgh Assay Office. Now all of these pieces are available for sale. You can go over to my website and check them out, uh, backyardbullion.com. There's also a link in the description below with the purchase link so you can go and check them out on my shop page and of course on there there's all of the close-up photos and things like that. Now tomorrow I've actually got a pouring compilation video coming out about all of these pieces so again you can see them all being poured and all of the glory photos and things on there. So if you guys are interested go over to my website or you can drop me a comment on this video or even just drop me an email to byb at backyardbullion.com. So as I said it's been over a year now since I kind of was making hand pour silver. I think it was kind of in September time that I picked up the kind of BYB stamp. I got the big BYB stamp made. Uh, so you guys have seen this before. This is the kind of stamp which I build all of my designs around now. So uh, you know you got that in the middle and then the, the weight, the ounce troy, the serial number and then the hallmark underneath it and, uh, and the leaf. So when I started back then, uh, you know, this was very much just an experimentation hobby. It really was uh, nothing more than that. There was never any kind of intention for it to be running, you know, as a business. And I was taken aback and blown away by the amount of support that the YouTube community and the SilverTube community was giving. And uh, people were doing unboxing videos and, uh, you know, people were buying and then people were sort of getting in touch from all over the place, all over the world. Um, and that's absolutely awesome. So. But I wanted to kind of run through my thoughts on it and, uh, you know, things have changed a lot since then. I feel like my skill as a pourer has changed a lot since then. You know, I, I, I look back at some of the earliest pieces which I made and some of the earliest pouring compilations that I made. Um, and uh, it's some of them, if I went back and remade them now, I would certainly edit the videos very differently. But I'd also, uh, you know, I think some of the silver pouring I'd do very differently. Um, you know, back, I th the first three or four pieces I made, I was trying to hold the blowtorch at the same time as pouring the silver and it just was, you know, very difficult and, uh, you know, so evolving into being able to make things like uh, like this piece, which I absolutely love, this ripple square. And, you know, the whole premise of this leaf ripple series is that it's around the premise of a leaf falling on a pond and making ripples in the molten silver, you know, a pond of molten silver and it's just... You know, it's meant to be sublime, it's meant to be serene, it's meant to be like that. And that's kind of the effect that I'm going for, that I try and achieve. And I try and achieve really beautiful, lovely, nice, thin ripples like this. And uh, and I really like them. That's the whole premise of Backyard Bullion. And that was kind of the thoughts behind the kind of leaf ripple series. Uh, now, you guys, uh, you know, I've, I've been making the leaf ripple series quite a while. And I wanted to number them all the way back when because when I was putting them together I thought well there's not really any better way to kind of uh, keep track of what I'm making and uh, so I did and I put the you know the serial numbers on there rather than somebody say oh I want that round you know they could say I want poor number 5 or poor number 20 or 32 or whatever it is um, so to have that and it kind of is cool because it keeps a track for me of how many pieces I've made and what types of pieces I've made and their serial numbers and things. But now as you can see we're well up above the 200 so I think we've got um, this star here is number 208. Uh, but this one, I love this ripple round and, I, and when I was pouring and the whole premise of this leaf ripple series for me is it's about the flavour of the moment, it's about what I want to pour when I want to pour it, it's not about, you know, I've made a lot of custom made orders and people want something made specifically, that's great, that's fine, I will do that, but these are about what I want to do, the flavour of that moment, trying out new moulds, trying out new effects, trying out new techniques and things like that, uh, it's all about the development of me as Backyard Bullion, and this, it's, I just love this ripple round, I'm, I'm basically 
stricken between these two which I like more and I think I like the ripple round more but the square is just awesome too. But yeah, so we're well over 200 now and that's just a really cool achievement in itself. I remember going back into January and thinking about where I'd like to be at the end of 2017 with the Leaf Ripple series and, you know, I was thinking around the 150 mark but, you know, you guys, demand has just kept on growing um, and I kind of think that's nice to, to, you know, reflect on as well because I've done a lot of different things. I've been making new pieces and I like to think that my technique has got a lot better. Um, gosh, the light's not very good here today. Uh, but... You know, I've been trying new different finishes, so we've got um, the antique pirate rounds. You guys absolutely love these pirate rounds, and I think this mould was absolutely designed for having an antiquing effect because, you know, when you put these in the antiquing solution, the liver of sulphur, and it goes all black, just rubbing the top here and getting this effect on the wood grain alone is absolutely awesome. Uh, and these are some of my best sellers. I, you know, you guys absolutely lapping these pirate rounds up with the, the leaf on the hat. And I think having them antique really brings out that leaf on the hat as well. And that's what I like. I, I think it's really cool. It's unique. It's different. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I love pouring these pirate rounds. I love pouring uh, all of the other types of things that I do. Uh, so, I, you know, I try and meet a little bit of demand with them. But at the end of the day, this is all about, you know, what I want to pour and what I like to pour. And that's the whole premise of, you know, the Leaf Ripple series. Uh, you know, we've got these masks. I absolutely adore these masks, and I think the antiqued version is absolutely awesome. But, you know, the shiny versions are cool too, and, you know, not everybody will like their silver antique. So as cool as this looks, and as, you know, authentic as a blackened steampunk mask actually is and looks, I appreciate that a lot of people out there like their silver shiny, and for a reason. Uh, you know, so that's kind of cool in its own right. But, you know, I, I love these ripple masks. I think they're fantastic, and you guys seem to like them too, because there's quite a lot of you who have come out and bought them. Um, but yeah, I mean, like another thing to talk about, hallmarking. So, you know, that has been, I think, a real boon and a bonus to everything that I've been doing here at Backyard Bullion. So, you know, the earlier pieces were just sort of considered general bullion, so uh, you didn't really need to get them hallmarked. But uh, since, you know, developing a lot of my new kind of pieces and skills and things, uh, hallmarking is just a really, really extra added bonus, which is absolutely fantastic for some of these pieces. Uh, it really does add to the sort of uniqueness and the flavour of it, and that's kind of what I like to think about Backyard Bullion. You know, we've uh, we've grown this. Me, I say we because really, Mrs. Backyard Bullion has done so much work behind the scenes on a lot of the stuff that she, you know, we've been making and doing. She helps with so much behind the scenes that you wouldn't know. Um, so, you know, we have developed a lot of different things and, you know, having that hallmark on there is a real sign of achievement and I think it's a real, you know, boon to the, to the brand, it's a real sort of badge to have on there and I'm really proud of that and I think it's absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do for the rest of the year, uh, so basically this is kind of the nuts and bolts of why I'm making this video. So I want to continue with the Leaf Ripple series, and I'm going to continue with that for the rest of 2017. So again, it's going to be flavour of the moment, what I like to pour, what I want to pour. Um, you know, if you do have a specific request for a certain serial number and you'd like a certain shape, then of course, then I'll look to do that, and that's not an issue. But generally, it's going to be about what I want to make and how I want to make it and just uh, get it out there. And I'm going to continue doing that for the rest of 2017. 2017. I don't know what that means in terms of what the final serial number will be for that uh, particular year, uh, but it could be 250. You know, we're at 208 at the moment. Perhaps if we do like another, I don't know, 20 pieces a month or so, three more months, so you're looking about another 50, 60 pieces. So, I, you know, maybe 250. I think actually th talking about it right now, 250 in my head sounds like quite a good goal for me to set and it would be a nice round number for us to finish on. And then what I've got planned is for 2018, I'll be starting again from scratch. So we're going to have yearly runs of the um, of the Leaf Ripple series, but they're going to be flavour of the month again. So, you know, whilst poor number four was a ripple bar, our poor number 12 was a cube, and I think I've got that right, could be wrong. You know, last year they were that, but in 2018 it's going to be flavour of the month, it's going to be flavour of the moment, you know, they're going to be different from the previous years. Now, of course, if you've got a certain number and you want something to match, then yeah, we'll think about that and we'll talk about that. But, um, you know, that's what I think, and I think that will be really helpful for uh, me just generally growing Backyard Bullion as a brand as well. You know, it's all about, for me, growing it now and uh, making this sort of more sustainable because it is ultimately a dream of mine to be able to do this as a living, as a full-time kind of equivalent, because uh, as I said in many videos before, I was, you know, juggling this with a day job. Um, so I think doing that would be kind of cool. 
So do let me know you guys' thoughts on that, uh, you know, if there's anything that you think that I could be doing differently in terms of like my just general stock pieces like these, the, uh, you know, the Leaf Ripple series, then please do let me know, because ultimately, guys, you're the reason why I am where I am with this, and, uh, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for it, it's just amazing to have all of the support from everybody here on YouTube, SilverTube, even people who aren't on YouTube who support through the Silver Forum or who support through... You know, just buying through my website and you're not even on YouTube or anything so massive thank you to you guys now also what I want to get your opinion on as well because I do other things other than the leaf ripple series now you've seen throughout the year we've done silver forum bars we've done one ounce versions of the silver forum bars we've done 100 gram versions of the silver forum bars so I am really keen to keep doing these kind of special projects and you know I'm going to try and develop relationships with bullion websites and shops and things like that to try and get exclusive products set up and made in the future but I've tried, I've dabbled in that myself a little bit, so earlier this year we had the limited edition run of the um, the Baby Dragons, so kind of the equivalent of this but a lot smaller. Um, and those went really well, I made 21 of each of them, 21 was just a random number I plucked out of the air and it seemed like a fun number to meet the kind of relative demand which I thought there might be and we had great success with both of those. Um, so what I wanted to do is actually look to finish that um, kind of leaf, uh, sorry, flaming dragon run with perhaps a, um, you know, a blackened dragon or a silver shiny large dragon so have these kind of medium sized dragons along with your two uh, baby dragons so you'd have mama dragon and her two babies you'd have her shiny mirror finish baby and you'd have her ripple baby um, so that was the kind of idea and whether that would be an antique version or a sort of shiny silver version I haven't decided yet so do let me know you guys thoughts because I know that a lot of you out there like your silver shiny uh, and that's fine but I do love the way that this kind of uh, effect has brought, brought out all the details on the on the dragon itself so do let me know your kind of preference for that potentially for the rest of the year obviously as well a couple of weeks ago I alluded to the fact that I would be looking to do kind of a Christmas based uh, run on some stars now, as you can see here, we've got uh, these new stars. So we've got the one ounce versions, and these are really cool. I love the way they've come out in the uh, in the right size. And it was com complete luck that they came out in the one ounce size. They remind me a lot of um, sort of sweets that you, we used to have in like the 1990s. Uh, there were like these sugar crumbly sweets that you'd be able to buy in the penny shops, but um, maybe that's just uh, too much uh, information to share about my childhood going to lots of penny shops. But um, yeah, you know, I, I like the idea of having a kind of a Christmas run of these types of things. Uh, what I've actually done is I've ordered a Christmas tree style stamp and also some snowflake stamps. And the idea was that you'd have just a really simple, you'd have the ripple star and then you'd have the Christmas tree in the middle, hallmark underneath it with some, um, you know, some snowflakes falling around the Christmas tree. And I feel that would be a really kind of cool, uh, cool idea. You know, we've got now, uh, I think, four different sizes of stars. So we've got these one ounce stars, we've got the fossil metal star, uh, mold which would be about one and a half ounces. We've got these big ones here which are between two and a half and kind of three and a half ounces. And then we've got the really, really big stars which were around the six and a half, seven ounce mark. Uh, so I kind of like that idea. Do let me know your guys' thoughts. Share it in this video. Comment on this video as well if you like the idea of a Christmas kind of themed star. Um, and obviously if you want to kind of get a Christmas star then please let me know and we can include you down the line in a kind of mailing list when those look to come out. So yeah, that's kind of it really, you know, again, I just want to reiterate how much I'm grateful for everybody here on YouTube, SilverTube, for uh, supporting me, supporting the channel. I'm looking at uh, growing this for the rest of the year, for the rest of 2017, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and it's really exciting, and I think if I can say to any of you out there, if you're looking for something that's very different to your everyday life, if you're looking for something to change the norm, just do it, because I change my norm, and... I am just so much, so much better for the, for, you know, for the better for it. Uh, life has a lot of passion in it for me now with this, with Backyard Bullion and not being stuck in an office sat in front of a computer screen all day is priceless and uh, I would highly recommend to anybody out there if you've got the means and you've got the passion and the drive to follow your dreams because it's so important, it really is. Uh, you know, the world is not all about power, money and making millions and millions of pounds. It's about having a good life, enjoying a good life, leading a good life, and being passionate about life. And that's important because if you're not passionate about life, in my opinion, you know, you're not going to get as much out of life as you could. And through Backyard Bullion, you guys have made me find that passion again, which is absolutely priceless. Anyway, guys, look, I'm getting a little bit uh, nostalgic now and uh, waffling on. So all I would like to do is remind you, if you like this video, if you like Backyard Bullion, please 
put the thumbs up on this video, it would help share it around through the YouTube algorithms and various social media as well. If you could share it through Twitter, through Instagram, through all of those types of things as well, then please do. Comment on this video as well if you have any thoughts on the um, things I've talked about here. If you're interested in any of the pieces as well, please do comment. As I said, all of these are available on my website. I've also got a pouring compilation coming tomorrow, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and then you'll be able to see all of these types of pieces being physically poured as well. So all that's left for me to say is, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.